Bees that way. Yep, so I'm just gonna walk this off till it's gone, till it's off the roll. Okay. Do by here, it's good working height. Okay. So this is just gonna lead into there. You can either coil this up or cut it off. It's up to you. You wanna make sure we get the center of the sensor over one of the cross sections of the fence. And then two more zip ties on the sensor itself. It doesn't have to be on this part, it can be on the cable. The gun should set, be set between three and four months. So once I get my height figured out, what I like to do is just count the squares so that we stay the same all the way. So we're gonna say one, two, three, four, five. That's where we're going. So we'll one, two, three, four, five. So we'll put one right here. And pull the slack towards the post. And then we'll put the next sensor on and then we'll pull this slack back towards the post. So we want to get this one a little bit more in the center. So we're probably going to have a little loop over there. Sure the LED is facing you. So you push the handle forward like this when you put it in and then you just squeeze it and it'll tighten and cut it. And see how it leaves the wire a little bit loose? That's what we want. We don't want it to right. pinch the wire. Yeah. And so you got this giant loop right here. All you gotta do is bring it up here. A couple even coils like this. A nice little loop.
and try to pull the slack towards the post. There you go. And that's what you want to see at the post. You want to have enough room between the cable. Stick two fingers between the cable and the post. You can see I'm just putting the sensors on and then tightening to the, to the next sensor side at the post. And then I got a guy going behind me fixing the other side and adding more zip ties. See, we got a gate post here. We're gonna leave enough slack that if they open this gate, it's not gonna pull tight against the post. Okay, so we got our gate done. We got a loop coming onto the gate. We got one sensor up high on the gate, loops down. Loops down, we got another sensor on the gate. Another loop of slack so that when they open it, it doesn't pinch it. And then this is gonna re be replaced with the URUT. Um, so it has gate protection. So we'll go into here with the URUT, come out with a passive cable and go underneath the gate to the other side. Okay, this is where we started, right where our conduit's coming out of the ground. You see we got three zip ties on every sensor. Got a good loop between each post, so it's not tied against it. Uh, we had a little extra cable there, so we are able to just make a little loop. 
Got our sensor in the center of the panel. Got our sensors consistently near center of each panel. Inside corner. We're coming to a gate. So we've got our gate here. We've got a loop there. To, so we've got two short panels, two loops there. We come over onto our gate. Loops back. Goes into our URUT. And that's going to go underground to the other side of the gate. Continue out of here, go down, it's going to loop again. And then continue on the fence. In our drawing, our UR actually ended up right about here, but that's not where our cable ended. Cable actually ends down here where the URUT is. So we didn't cut the cable where the URUT was on the drawing, just took the cable to the end of it, put it where the put the UR where the cable actually ended. <laughs> 